Welcome to Nuke Berlin, where I have Nervosa with me. Uh, first things first, uh, how is Nervosa doing at the moment? Oh, it's doing great. We are doing our second tour from the, our new album now. And we made us some shows before that, and all the show was super awesome. We are super ha happy to be here in Europe again. And we are excited to play here tonight in Berlin because we have a lot of friends from here so it's a party night <laughs> today yeah as you said you are basically uh, still uh, touring on your downfall of mankind tour second time in europe now and we missed you last time here in berlin but how has it been to tour that album yeah it, it's it's really great for us we are um having a really good energy from the fans from this new album all, everyone is saying, oh, the new drummer is super awesome, is more aggressive and faster and everything. And this is everything that we really want to pass for everyone. So it's working for us, you know. And, and we have a perfect team now with Luana. It's a really nice girl and really nice drummer as, as well. And all the shows... We are with a super good energy because she passed good energy for us. And this is super important and we love to do that. But she completed us like never before. <laughs> so this is super important for us. We are super excited to, to write new albums with her because she inspired us. Uh, do you want to open up... Um at all uh the what was behind the change of uh in lineup yeah it's hard to be on the road all the time it's not easy and we play for the whole year and without stop and it's super hard left the the family the job the comfort in our house and everything it's really hard to be on the road many times we can't sleep as well uh, well we can't um, eat well and everything if you don't put your mind in the good way you will be crazy and we will be we will have a lot of stress and everything so we have to be happy doing the hard stuff you know because this can be super hard so this is the the most um important thing to be on the road all the time so this was the problem with other drummers they didn't like to be on the road all the time and feel uncomfortable with some stuff so luana like like me and fernanda likes to be on the road so because of that this is, we have the perfect team all right then uh we've been talking about the live trash metal is all about the live of course so, uh, what makes a gig great for you guys? Great gig, it's really great crowd. Everyone enjoying our show and everyone happy, you know? Everyone singing and we like see the people enjoying the show, really enjoying the show, really happy. And everyone asking for pictures and everything. We are happy to, 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 to give that to. So, of course, we would love to, to make a really good show with a really good sound. We really uh, want to do that. Really good sound, it's, it's the most important thing because they are there just to watch a good show. And I think 50% of the good show is the good sound. So, we, we super thinking about that. We really want to give everything good for the the people uh, okay and uh, like you said you are basically touring like crazy so uh, what have been the most memorable gigs for you oh we have some gigs memorable like in in latin america we have a, a really crazy people example we were in nicaragua and there's a lot of fans around the van 
but kicking the van with the bottles and everything. Everyone is like we we were uh, Michael Jackson or something like that, and everyone's screaming, ah, the van! And kicking the van, and oh, what's going on here? <laughs> so it's super crazy, and we had a a, a gig in in a super weird place. Example in in U.S. We made some shows in, in the middle of nowhere. Example in a church. Yeah, and we had uh, some experience, fun experience, but we love that. Everything is a good history, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we like to, to talk about and, and laugh, for example, like that. It, it's, it's, it was a, a good moment, but it was super memorable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how was the church gig? <laughs> yeah, it was cool. It was in the middle of nowhere. And the guys from this place, he said it this was a dream for him to buy the church and do some metal oh, festival okay. inside. Yeah, yeah. And we had uh, two really good bands with us there. And there was 20 people, something like that. But it was super good vibes, you know. But it was super special. <laughs> It's hard to play in the middle of nowhere inside of church, example. So was super good. Okay, we already mentioned the Downfall of Mankind album released last year and now you had time to play it live for quite some time already. So um, after a little time has passed and you've been playing it live, uh, what are your feelings and thoughts about the album at the moment? Yeah, I'm feeling good and we are playing almost all the songs in this album. We are happy to, to, to do that because now we have um, a longer set because in the in the last year we play an hour but now we have an hour and 15 minutes we add some songs special songs in uh, the set list so yeah we we change some things in our sound example in my guitar I change some stuff so I have a kind of new sound of guitar guitar and Fernanda made some adjustment too and yeah I want to maybe change some symbols too we're happy yeah. but we are super excited to make another album <laughs> uh, has any tracks from Downfall of Mankind kind of risen up and you know uh, to a new meaning through live performances is there Uh, some uh, songs now that hold special meaning for you guys? Oh, it's hard this, but I think the special songs for me in this album, I mean, Bleeding, I love this song. The girls don't like too much this song, but I love this song. And Millie in the, the chorus, oh, I love this, the, the melody, it's, it's really good for my ears. And never forget and never repeat. It's one of my favorite songs in this album. And from it's one of my favorite in the, all the songs of Nervosa. And oh, it's hard. The bonus track. The bonus tracks is super special. The Selfish Battle. We don't play it live because it's a special one, and we had some guests in in the song. But I love this song. But I love all the songs. It's like a child, a child, you know, <laughs> so, like a son. So it's impossible to choose one. Uh, what about the upcoming album? Um, have you already uh, some ideas? And uh, what kind of musical direction mm. are you taking, perhaps? Yeah, no, we we didn't made any songs ready because we weren't on the tour all the time. But next year we will start to to write a new album. We didn't talk about the the next album, but will be something like a downfall of mankind. But we have some crazy ideas. But I think it's it's not the best time to talk about because we didn't have time to talk between the girls. So I have no idea what will happen next you know i i have to talk more with the girls about that to say something now because i can say something now but maybe can change after so yeah. <laughs> i need to be careful uh still trash metal i assume of course nervous it's 100 uh. <laughs> 
trash metal. Of course, we have a lot of influences from death metal, but Nervosa is a trash metal band, and we will be always will be trash metal band. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you guys have a um, have a past of uh, different genre bands. So, what is it about trash metal that makes it great? Oh, I love trash metal. It's my favorite kind of music, and I think the next. The next album will be a little bit more trash than Downfall of Mankind because Downfall of Mankind there is a lot of influence from death metal. I love this, but I think we always have to to be to 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 do the different things, you know. Yeah. The next album more trash and maybe the next next one maybe more death metal and alternating things. It's the best way. Don't to be just the everything the same all the time. So we have to change some things, but I feel the next album will be a little bit more trash than the fall of mankind. Okay, and where does the inspiration come for your music and lyrics? So we live in a super corrupt country. Our lyrics always talking about pollution things and the human behaviors too. And yeah, the lyrics are super political, but from the songs from the music i mean we always have influences from slayer example sepultura of course from brazil and crisium and vader and sodom and destruction and all the main bands i mean we love it example behemoth too we love Death Angel, Morbid Angel, Nap- Napalm Death, Nuclear Assault, and all these bands are huge influences for us when we are composing new songs. Okay, so I think I don't have to ask you how you feel about your new president. Oh, <laughs> I feel like death, you know, <laughs> dead, and then I fucking hate him. I feel so shy to, for my country voting in this stupid person that it's a it's a uh, it's disgusting people you know i fucking hate him it's a pure fascism and uh, it's terrible it's a horrible person horrible horrible person i feel super shy super uh yeah let's go into more positive things let's talk yes. a little bit about the brazilian uh, metal scene how do you see the scene at the moment? Uh, last time I asked this question, it was from uh, 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 people in Angra. And oh, they were talking cool. about. So, what are your thoughts on the scene? Yeah, I'm. I'm feel super proud about the metal scene in Brazil. <laughs> this is a good part of Brazil. Thank you for this <laughs> chance. You know, and Brazil have a huge metal scene and super organized scene. It's we have a super underground media super um, super strong you know and we have a lot of good good magazines and radios and everything about media stuff and we have a lot of good bands in Brazil too but make a tour in Brazil today is a little bit hard because we have a really bad moment in our economy so the people don't have money to to buy the ticket to, to go to the show but anyways in sao paulo example is a huge city and and sao paulo in the the capitals in brazil is possible to 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 make show there because are huge cities but it's it's a hard moment but anyways all the bands are keeping strong and doing your job and play out of brazil because of that it's hard to play in our country but i feel so proud of our metal scene it's a really good metal scene all right then uh in the end let's go back to nervosa of course so how do you see the band's future i mean like is uh, where is nervosa in two years for example oh two years <laughs> so a new album of course <laughs> and oh I hope to keep in doing that, the playing shows, doing um, tours. I really, we really want to make a tour in Asia, example, because we never played there before, and Australia, 
and these countries are far f from us. It's really important, and we are super excited to make a tour in in USA and Canada because now there was two years that we don't play there. So this time to play there again. <laughs> so yeah, I hope to play it around the world. Example, maybe one show in Africa. This this part of the world it's hard to play. And yeah, keeping doing, keeping work and doing yeah. albums and and everything. And I hope that everyone can enjoy more and more and more us. And every every night will be a part party and everyone super happy this is the most important thing to keeping doing what we love okay all the best to you and uh, break a leg tonight here in berlin yes thank you so much for this opportunity thank you thank you